So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to another episode of 3 Random Games. It is that game series where we go ahead and take 3 games and play them all within one video. Amazing right? And also with no opinion based on myself, this is the internet's 17th most favourite show in the whole wide world. Of the internet! Or at least it was guys because um, you know the sound effects of clapping, I I'm adding that in like deep down if I pull this up. No one's filling these seats no more. And look, we've got like first class seats up here. I mean, they're beautiful. Like, you see all the nice like trim and stuff on them. You know, you want to you take a seat right now. You don't want to buy a ticket. Okay, let's close that. Hopefully by the next episode, things will be filling. Okay, now I've got to replace all the studio stuff. Welcome back, though, anyway, guys, to another episode of Three Random Games. Now, I have no idea what we're going to play because that's kind of the thing about this. I start this off, I do an intro, but then I go ahead and go on itch and download whatever the freak itches my itch or scratches my... What? Okay, I'm going to stop that. Pretty much, guys, we just go ahead, download a game, see what it's like on the spot, and then we go from there. Leave a like if you enjoyed game number one. Oh, wow. Just straighten with this one. So this game here, guys, is called Fragments or... Oh, it, it is the menu. I have no idea what this thing is. It looks like a found footage type game. So we're going to go straight into this one. Fragments. I mean, you open your door and that looks like more than a slip. I'm just saying. Oh, boy. And we're straight. So context, please. I, I don't understand what is happening right now. And why am I getting four frames per second? Okay, so we have a bed. Now, what is this over here? We can zoom in. What? Got a uh, tin of tuna. So I'm glad you've got that by the side of your bed. At least that will uh, somewhat calm your nerves, if that's your thing anyway. Look, one thing though, look at the size of this room. Like, you've got a rug that's like 20 by 20. My gosh. Think about these horror games though, you always have a lot of space to work with. So, wait, pick up the key right there and pick up the picture. So we just put that in our back pocket. Okay, we can look at the picture right here. A framed photo of your wife. How did it get here? Well, you probably put it there if it's your wife. Turn off the lamp. What the? What, what did he do? Like, do that to turn it off? Turn it back on? Why are we so aggressive with the lamp? Like, come on. It's just doing what it says it wants to do. Well, you asked for that right there, dude. Yeah, I would probably say as well, you might want to get your ceiling repaired, to be honest. That's not looking too good. So let's go ahead and open the door. Another painting right there. Just flowers. Um probably paint the walls just so that stands out a bit more. Like, I'm gonna be honest, you put a nice picture of flowers on the wall, that ain't gonna be enough to make this place look good. Especially if this is your decor choice of lighting. This ain't looking too good. So, there we go. Um, phone in the chair. Y you mind shutting the freak up? Hmm. This thing's got power without there being a source. So, what is the meaning here? On the table, death fixed on brains? Okay, like midway clearly. Let's see, what else was on the menu right now? Get the freak out of my way. Looking like a liver. Okay, this is not bad at all. Or maybe a heart or a stomach. And then this one here. Oh no, that's the heart. This is my place. Wait, you can literally poke the food so it falls off. Okay, the corner, we've got some like light. It's more of a music box. Clearly still spinning. So, you know, I'm glad you've uh, spent the time to light that up. Good job. Oh. You know, you should probably push the couch back a bit more, because that's a bit suspect. A bookcase, lots of books, we must be an avid reader. And then down here, some kind of Wi-Fi thing, and yeah, look, can you just get out of the way? That's probably why the signal's so weak. Open the dresser, candle in there, and um... Okay, that's literally the dresser. Use key. That was the key we obtained then, so we have ourselves a hacksaw right there, so if I could just pick that up, that would be great. Okay, there we go, got a hacksaw, and that's a nice tub. Um, well it would be if the foot was out of it. Other than that though, living a nice lavish lifestyle. Like, okay, what is this? I guess when mom sits the sun, can you give me a hand washing my hair? He must have took it too literal. <laughs> All right, there's a postcard here, guys, so we can go over here. Postcard with a picture of the Eiffel Tower on it, the front on the back reads, At 3.45 Friday, April 8th, 2015, the police department reported that the suspect had been reported missing after the Eiffel Tower co collapsed? According to the official police report, at 3.20 p.m., a member of the public reported seeing a man in a dark-colored vehicle approach the tower and then disappear? While investigating, a member of the public observed the vehicle drive away from the west side tower, down a set of stairs, and through another set of stairs, eventually onto two additional levels? He also saw the motor vehicle pull back towards the tower and return towards the... What? Listen, for someone to have that much context about a random vehicle pulling away, I honestly think you just interviewed the dude who did it. Wait. The Eiffel Tower has been destroyed. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Hold up. I got the hacksaw on this stuff for the door. Like, can I just uh, saw through this? There we go. There we go. Okay, another red room. Okay, push the door open. Let me out of here. What? Okay, we pulled it towards us. And in the middle right there. Hello? Oh. Hey, man. How's it going? Um, press escape to exit. Okay, now this next game is called Bird by Example. Press any key. We're just straight up born into this world, so we have birds and quit. Perfect. Incredible. I guess we're gonna... Birds, right? Um, there is no sound to this... Bro, 
What the heck? The sound I'm adding is something I've done. There is no sound to this game. I'm not even moving. Why, why am I in a headlock right now? I'm, I'm in a room full of birds literally just swinging right now. They're trying to fight one another. They got arms, they got feet. Um, I think I'm gonna back out of this one in a second, guys. I, I run around and then how do I punch? I just start swinging, so I punch this. Punch the orange peels. So, wait. Then all the other guys start swinging when they see me do it. So if I jump, let me see. Look, then they all start jumping a little bit as well. I don't really know what to make of this, guys. So, uh, <laughs> Just the freak out of this orange peel. Um, I'll see what's over the mountain, I guess. And then I think that's all there is to this. Come on, my guy. Be different from the rest of them. Look at them all. They're all contained within their facility. You, on the other hand, you know there's a bigger world out there. And look, you're set to... Okay, someone else beat us to it then. Okay, and now my character has apparently just, like, deleted his eyes. Okay, we're done here, guys. Press enter right now. Done. Once upon a time, Shrek. Shrek, Shrek, Shrek. Shrek, 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 Shrek. This game features random loud noises and flashing images. I suggest you check this out before you Shrek yourself. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, I don't know what this game is. Uh, you can resize it. I've already done that. Instructions. Press the coin button to drop a copper coin. You are allotted three copper coins per level. Use the motion buttons to move your player character and do not die. Um. Okay, arrow keys. C to drop a coin. Uh, the arrow keys to look around. Dude. What the heck is going on? So, walk forward. <laughs> What is this? Like, this is the thing about this series, guys. We, uh, yeah, we just play weird stuff. So we're trapped in some kind of Shrek dimension dead end. Uh, we're gonna walk this way here. I have no idea where we're going. And the fact that we don't turn our head, maybe we don't have a neck in this world. Dead end. Paul, enter here. So, what, 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 what is going on? I guess we're at the next level. So, good stuff. Is there anything in here with us? You know? Like, I, I feel like I'm alone for the most part. So, I don't really get... What this game is trying to do. You just walk by the exit, go back, and go left, lol. Thanks, dude. So this way here, I guess he's saying. Let's go through. Dead end. L that ain't no portal, my guy. Uh, okay, I can just walk through the level and then hit the portal, right? Incredible. Yeah, this this is um this is good. Good progress, guys. It's really good. Amazing. Sometimes you need to go through a dead end. Thanks, uh, thanks, donkey. Uh, again, what <laughs> what is this? Sometimes you need to go through a dead end, you say? Uh, done that. And it reveals new parts of a level. I don't know why I'm acting amazed, guys. This is um. This is just, uh, this is weird. Let's walk this way. Go through this dead end, maybe. Got a new zone here. At least that's something, so check around. Wait, this is the room we started in, isn't it? Wait, enter portal here? So we've got to get to that point there. How the freak are we going to do that? Where do we go that way? Ooh. Now we've got somewhere new, I think, so hit this one. Um, dude, I don't get what the freak I'm playing right now, so I'm back on myself again. <sighs> this is just going to be one of those episodes, isn't it? The fourth game in the list today is called Paralysis. This is apparently a short point and click adventure. Let's start these up. I always enjoy this. You wake up in an- Okay, I'm gonna pull the mic in. You wake up in an unfamiliar place. Where do you go? We can either turn back straight away or go forward. So if I woke up in a strange place, I would be intrigued. You enter a clearing. Something is sitting on a bench and there's a dock on the lake. So approach the figure or go to the dock. Let's approach the figure. Holds out two keys. Choose the correct one. I'll take the one right here. I guess, choose this key. Okay, you chose the... Oh, that leaves me one of two options. Choose this key here. Choose. Let's go for the one straight on your forehead. You wake up. You are paralyzed. He's watching us. There's no actions we can do. Or wait. Nope, nope. No, there's not. So, you wake up, but you're paralyzed. Is that potentially one of the endings that we got right there? Come on, give me a prompt. I want to be free. I don't want to be paralyzed no more. Though, maybe this is the whole point in this ending. We've woken up and we're paralyzed. We can't choose nothing. We have no more options we can do. We're stuck here. It's kind of clever when you think about it. So what about if we choose the other keys? Wait, there was a good option then. So that's literally it. It could be as short as that. And then you end. And this is thanks for playing. So, wait, we won already? Hang on, I want to investigate some more with this game. So what about if we go forward here and then go to the dock? The dock is broken. You can't go forward. So we can only talk to the dude. So the last thing we need to try with this game, guys. What about if we turn back for the... Okay, there's a gate, you can't go forward. So, we turn back again. Okay, next game. How am I at five games already? What the heck is happening with this episode? I'm about to delete my YouTube channel. So game number five, we're gonna start with a small synopsis. You are Lorena, and after suffering a very serious damage, wake up in a kind of old house with many corpses to the developer, so have to escape as soon as possible. But be careful, as someone will take care that you will never wake up again. Woo! Jack the Mime? I'm getting straight into this, dude. Why, why did you just jump into existence though right now? Like, is that how you get out of bed? Okay, so I think this is from the same dude who made like a... Uh, the Baldi's game, so that's Jack the Mime. 
Isn't that a FNAF 6 sound jump scare? Girl dies in hospital whilst unconscious. Oh, no. Listen, man. Don't even think about what's going on. Start running, lady. You gotta get the freak out of here somehow. Body's right there. I see a door. Okay, keep running through. This is a dead end. This is not good. Oh, Jack, the mime is gonna get us. Oh, no. Give him the breaking ankles. Can't, can't give him the breaking ankles. Okay. Listen, guys. We're not leaving this thing until we get at least one of these games beaten, okay? Hello? So, okay. There's Jack the mime. So, let's go through this way here. Surely he can't fit through, right? Oh, no problem. So, yeah. Detachable head, sure. Let's go this way, dude. Come on. Your life depends on it. Uh, Laurel or something. Oh, no. Keep running. Keep running. Oh, no. You're back in the room. You began. You're dead. Okay, so no doubt the solution is to run him around in a circle like this and then just like get down the way he is. So we'll do that. Okay, so this was the way he came from. More specifically, this way here. So let's keep moving through. Okay, that's a dead end. So we're dead again. Great. We're going to go this way, guys. We're going to... Uh... Gonna, we're gonna get out of this, man. We're gonna dab on haters as well when we get out of this. Do you know what I mean? We're gonna tell all our family that we was amazing and we actually escaped him. All right, here we go. Let's go this way here. This looks good. Ah, uh, okay. Still going through this, guys. I'm not sure I can handle this. My heart rate is about 190,000. Composure. Let's find the exit. Let's get out of here. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm dead. Oh, Jack, give me a chance. Oh, no. What am I even looking for? What is it? What? What? what how do I escape this thing? What do I look for? Oh. Is that, is that it? Hit the pole, we escaped. Girl wakes up from a four week sleep. Good, same face expression. Um. <sighs> Guys. I come bearing bad news. Episodes like this, which just remind me, you know, when I showed the, the crowd and the fact that it was empty this time and I was adding the sound effects the whole time because no one's really here. Yeah. This episode has just reminded me that, um, you know, this is the reality of this series. It's uh, it's not the 17th favorite anymore. It's probably the 17 millionth. And well, that was five random horror games, guys. I uh, hope you did enjoy. I'll see you on the next one, okay? Take care.